this is actually a really cool guitar, and the only thing that kind of lets it down, in my opinion, is the pickups. I find they sound harsh, a bit ice picky, and just not very nice. But it's so much guitar for the money. These are about £120, and the influence is not exactly subtle, is it? It's a Jim Root Strat for a fraction of the price. It just feels a bit weird to put a set of two or three hundred pounds EMGs or Fisherman influences in it, but I came across these online. They're active, they're sold by a company here in the UK called Allegri. Allegri? They're part of their old timer brand or series of pickups. So they also make a few others, but as I'd like to see if we can get it as close as we can to the Jim Root Strat in terms of sound quality, I chose the active option and they're called the Lightning Box. And the best thing is, they're less than half the price of the equivalent EMG set. These cost just £65 for both pickups. If this works out the way I hope, this will mean that you'll be able to get really close to the Jim Root Strat, still for under £200. So I'm going to play you some sounds now using the stock pickups, then I'm going to install the new pickups. I'm hoping it's just a simple like-for-like -like swap, as I really hate dealing with electronics. And then I'll play you some tones with the new pickups, and we can compare and decide if they're any good and if they're worth getting. <laughs>
So I've spent a little bit of time with these pickups now and I can honestly say that they've made such a huge improvement to this guitar. I really liked this guitar before, I think it feels good, it plays really well, it's a really good weight, but the original pickups, they, they just they let, let this guitar down. They were harsh and thin sounding, every time I plugged it in it felt like nails on a chalkboard and I, I found myself constantly playing around with the EQ on the amp, trying to dial it out. It might not really come across so well on the recording, but well, especially on the higher gain examples, but it was definitely there. To be honest, now it just sounds like um, like I've put a set of EMG 81s in this guitar, and for the price that they are, I couldn't be more satisfied or impressed. Those scratchy highs have gone, and now it sounds just as good to me as any of my other guitars with EMGs, and I think it's well worth the 65 or 70 pounds that they cost, probably about a third of the price of a set of EMGs. And they were so easy and straightforward to install. I hate soldering and I'm not very good at it, but I managed it with no issues at all. If you're worried about it, don't be. There's many videos on YouTube that can teach you how to solder. Just get yourself a £20 or $20 soldering kit from Amazon and you'll be fine. Uh, just take photos with your phone of the original wiring and then just copy that exactly and you'll be, you'll be totally fine. And would I put them in a Gibson or an ESP? Probably not, but uh, admittedly that's probably... 80% psychological, there's no good reason not to. I just feel that if you've got something in that price range, I personally just want to get the authentic option, whatever that means. But anything sub, I don't know, 1000 or 700, any Harley Benton Squire, Epiphone, PRS, SC maybe, if that's the sound you're going for, I definitely choose to go with a set of these. I'll put links in the description below, but please let me know what you think about them in the comments section. And if you've bought any, let me know how you got on with them as well. I'd be really interested to hear. I also tried out their Seymour Duncan clones, and you can find that video just here. The price of pickups seems to be jumping up massively right now. So hopefully these videos will give you a, a cheaper, but a really good sounding option.